Hi, a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. This week is all about Paddington Bear. I've got Paddington here. I'm surrounded by marmalade. The movie is coming out and I hope to get this up in time for the launch. I know it'll be coming out different times of the world. It's a fantastic movie, by the way. Come down, have a look at the cake we're gonna be making. This is just half the cake. This is Paddington's suitcase. We've got his little initials on there uh, from Darkest Peru to London, England, Paddington Station with the handle, a little leather, leather patches on the corner. Uh, this was a fun cake to make. But on top of that, we are going to be making this Paddington bear who will go and sit down here on top of the suitcase. And this was fun to make. This will be a separate video. I'll pop this up next week so you can see. Otherwise, it's a little bit too much for one. So let's get on and make this fantastic, fun Paddington bear cake. Now the layers of cake and the frosting, I'm gonna make with a Nutella frosting because I think it goes great with the orange of the marmalade. Now come down here and have a quick look. We're gonna be using about half a pound of softened butter. Now that's lightly salted butter. And I've got about a pound of icing sugar. I'm gonna add a cup of Nutella in with that as well. Now it doesn't matter exactly the amounts. We, if we use half a pound of butter, 250 grams, then we're going to use double that of icing sugar or powdered sugar. So come back down here. So start by creaming together about half of the icing sugar with the butter until you get a creamy consistency and just add that icing sugar in a little bit at a time. Now, if it appears a little bit dry, you can add a tablespoon of milk. I usually like to put one or two tablespoons of milk in with this. And now we're just going to add a cup of Nutella and cream that in and all that beautiful chocolate flavors going in. And now this is gonna taste just great. Let's get on and bake the cakes. Now I use the tried and tested pound cake recipe from my channel. I'm using a 12 inch by eight inch baking tray and I've gone for a 200 gram, that's a seven ounce mix. So we basically take 200 grams, seven ounces of butter and sugar and mix those or cream them together. I've added four eggs into it and then some flour. We pour that then into our baking tray which I've lined with some baking paper and pop that in the oven 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes until it's golden brown. Or you can stick a skewer into it and it comes out clean. Okay, so I've baked off two cakes. This one down here is a vanilla and over here I've baked one that I've put chocolate into. The combination of the chocolate, the vanilla and the orange from the marmalade because Paddington wants me to use marmalade between the two. Now, we've got to move this onto a finished surface and it won't be able to be moved. I've got a couple of crank handled spatulas here. I'm just gonna lift the base and once you get it down there, literally you're not going to want to move it again once we start icing this cake. Now once I pop my marmalade in here, I'm going to be putting Nutella frosting as well before I sandwich this together. And I'm probably going to trim a little bit off the side of the cakes. So let's start with this beautiful orange marmalade, which is basically an orange jam. You could use something different if you want, but orange and chocolate go well together. Come down here, you've got to get your marmalade, just get it a little bit, give it a little stir through and then get marmalade, pop it on top of the first layer of our cake and start to spread it across the cake using a spatula. And I want the flavor of the marmalade to come through, so don't underdo it. So when you've got a nice even layer of marmalade on there, we are now going to take this Nutella frosting we made earlier. So get a nice big dollop of frosting on there. And yes, dollop is a technical term for cake icing. And then we are just going to spread this over the top of the marmalade. Now with the Nutella frosting, we don't need to get right to the edge because when we build the walls up on the side, we'll get that all nice and tidy. The next thing I want to do is take our chocolate layer of cake and just line it up on top of the previous one and just pull those blades out of there. Now I just want to pop this in the fridge for maybe about 20 minutes, half an hour, let it firm up a little bit. Now I let my cake cool down for about 20 minutes or so and what I'm just going to do now is trim a little salvage edge off. Now, the only reason I'm doing that is so you can see the side, but also when I put my Nutella frosting on, it's gonna make a little easier for me to frost the side. Now, once you've tidied up the edges, we can start putting our Nutella frosting on. Now, I'm just gonna get um, some of this frosting and a palette knife. So we're just gonna spread this on the top and on the sides, and really we're just sealing the crumbs so when we put the fondant on, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, but get it as smooth as you can. Now the side is particularly important, just get a crank handled um, 
spatula like this one and just spread it along like so. Now, all we're looking to do is get as flat as possible. Now you can pop this in the fridge for a little while, let it chill, get a warm, nice and warm water and just smooth over the surface if you absolutely need to. But let's just chill this down. Now, whilst that chills, we're going to prepare some fondant. Just come down here. I've got about a pound, 450 grams of brown fondant. I've covered with a damp cloth. When you're not using it, cover it, pop a lid on there, stop it from drying out. Uh, now, what I've done here is taken white fondant. I've added a little Americolor chocolate brown and a little bit of uh, egg yellow. The chocolate brown made a really nice brown, but I wanted to get a more leathery effect. Now, just come back down here. We're going to square this out. Now, I like to put a little bit of cornstarch. I've got a pastry mat here. A little bit of cornstarch to help this uh, stop it from sticking. A little bit over the top as well. We're going to have to roll this out fairly thinly. Now, a little tip, if you've got nails like I have for classical guitar, or if you're ladies, you've got nails, get some of these silicon gloves and just pop them on. It'll stop you from catching the fondant and messing it up while you're working with it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is roll this out a little bit close to the width that I'm going to need to cover my entire suitcase or cake. And you just want to make sure that also it doesn't stick to the counter while you're working with it. Now, when you're close to the width that you want, you can then start rolling this out and getting some length onto it. Again, keep the dusting of corn flour on the counter so that it doesn't stick. It also helps it just ease as you roll it out as well. Now, I've rolled that out until it's a little bit bigger than the size of my cake. And what we need to do now, if you just watch this end, we're going to lift this up, gently lift it onto your rolling pin. Try not to get too many snags or tears. And I'm just going to roll that around the pin like so. Then I can lift it out of the way. Now, brought my cake out of the fridge. I'm not going to flatten it anymore. I'm quite happy with the way it is. But what I can do now is just lay the rolling pin up against the side of the cake, and then I'm just going to lift it and unroll this fondant over the top of my cake. Now be careful on these corners, they might crack a little bit, but we are actually going to be covering those corners, so don't worry too much. Now when you're icing a cake and the patient gets a little bit cranky, get the old cake smoothers out and just use them to ease the edge of the cake as smooth as possible. So you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just putting some little leather patches. I've cut these little circles of darker brown, just added some black to the brown that I already had. I'm just gonna wet these corners with a paintbrush and then I'm just going to place my circle. Now I want it a little higher on the top, but it is very easy to shape this fondant around that corner like so. Now the last thing we're just going to do is take one of these little seamstress tool, it looks a bit like a spur, and we're just going to run it around the edge to create a little stitching effect. And then I'm just gonna take the same effect just around the edge. Now the next thing we're going to do is make a handle. So I just want to roll a piece of fondant out now into a little strip like so. And then what we're going to do is just do it towards you so you can see. But I'm just going to make a little U shape. And then I'm just going to flatten it down. And I'm just going to nip off the excess. Now that's going to be the handle. I'm going to make some little leather squares where the handle will sit. So I'll get on and make that and show you how it comes out. Okay there Paddington, what do you think? There is Paddington's case. Now, if you have a look at that now, I've done the corners, I made that little handle, just glued it on with a bit of water. The initials for Paddington are loose at the moment. I'll put those on later because I've got to make Paddington Bear to sit on top of this cake and it's gonna be made out of cake and fondant again. That video is coming very shortly. You saw at the beginning what this cake's gonna look like when it's finished, it's gonna look fantastic. So please share the love, give this one the thumbs up and I'd love to hear your comments. Now, as for my friend here, Paddington Bear, He's been in the family for many years. I actually bought this uh, for my wife many years ago and in, in his pocket here is the little card that I wrote when I gave it to her. And of course, Paddington's letter, uh, Darkest of Peru. So we're gonna make a little replica of that out of fondant as well. I uh, hope you're gonna enjoy joining me for this. And if you haven't seen the movie, the new Paddington movie that's just come out, 
get and watch it because it really is a lot of fun. Uh, he's got a soft spot in my heart. I hope you and the youngsters out there are going to enjoy Paddington Bear. Be good. See you next time. Now, when Paddington Bear arrived in England, he arrived at Paddington Station. That's where he got the name from. We've made his little suitcase here. I'll leave a link up there to some other videos, maybe some other cake videos that I've made on the channel. I always love to hear your comments. I'll leave another link to another, mm, I'll leave another link to another video there as well. Everybody out there, be good. Take care, see you next time.